Robin, why are we leaving the Bay Area to go to a place that's like 47 degrees? Because we are absolute masochists. And for some reason, we find enjoyment in this, even though we know that it's just an entire week and a half of physical suffering. Me to vlog your first meeting. <laughs> hug, uh, hug. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Right, we're an hour away from Las Cruces, New Mexico. Soon we're gonna meet up with Robin and Hilly and uh, Hussein and check in your hotel. So see you then. Hey Jacob. Oh my God, Robin. We freaking made it, so dude. Much. Robin, it's been eight hey. months. Holy shit. Yes, yes. <laughs> hey, Nick. Hi, everyone. Oh my god, it's the other Robin Liu. We finally meet. <laughs> All right, so we finally linked up with the rest of the team. Everyone made it safe. Damn. This is the damage from the dog. I'm like, if anyone hit the dog, I'm glad Adam hit the dog. Because Adam was, like, I knew Adam would have just been like, well. <laughs> No, of course not. Why, why would you think that? So, I'll just introduce the team. That's Adam. This is Nick. This is Nina. That's David. Doris. Zach. Uh, Chris. Emily. Bethusen is down there. Then there's Josh, Sandy, the other Robin Liu. There's me, which is also Robin Liu. There's Aaron, Miranda, Hilbert, and Jacob. So that's the whole team. All right, so Aaron's unpacking his uh, remote systems right now. These are the three tower side boxes. This one is for remote fill. Uh, this one is for radio contact, and this one, which is not nearly as sexy on the inside, is for ignition. Right now, the plan is we get breakfast and go to the menu center. So uh, it doesn't matter how we do it. I think there's a Dunkin' Donuts nearby. So we have the truck, we have Mazda, Pontiac, Tiguan. I mean, like a lot of you are first years, so you'll need a lot of this like information moving forward if you're trying to make new ideas or new developments for the vehicle. So yeah. We're all in this convention center, getting ready for the opening address. This is so much better than last year. So on behalf of Governor Martinez from New Mexico, all the leadership in this wonderful state, welcome to this beautiful part of our nation known as Las Cruces, New Mexico. Alright okay, guys, so this is the main poster area. Everyone brings out their rockets and we're just out here showing them off. You can go around and ask other people about their rockets and how they're doing things. Cool. Now here we have this kind of concourse area, so there's all the different sponsors. Next we have the team from Waterloo, and they're going to be talking about improving the reliability of a hybrid rocket launcher. Better than you don't see any disabilities. So I'm at that scale. Okay, let's take our speakers. So after this poster session's done, we're gonna clean up, head back, get some food. Um, and then we might just go straight to sleep because we have to get up at like some absurd hour tomorrow morning. Yeah, four or five the latest because we need to leave by five and then get there at like I would like to leave seven. by four thirty to be honest. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, we need to get up really early tomorrow, like is usually the case with comps. There might be some other stuff we have to do, but we'll find out. We have arrived at Spaceport America. Uh, there's going to be a team photo outside of Spaceport. And right after that, we're gonna head in for setup. The line back there is terrible. Yeah, if you can see back there, look look at how long the line is. You can't even see the end of it. Up day one. It's six in the morning. 
seven. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's seven. It's seven. <laughs> 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 So we made it to Space Fort. We've been waiting for six hours. <laughs> yes, that is in no way an exaggeration of how long that we've been waiting. We it has been literally six hours. I'm not even lying. I am actually lying. It's been more like 20 minutes. But this building oh, here, yeah. that is the Space Fort America hangar. How exciting. We are currently setting up for the group photo. So the way that we're hacking this photo is that we don't have our whole rocket, we just have the top half. So we just hide the bottom underneath people's shoulders and it's fine. It works perfectly. <laughs> the time's about 10 a.m. on the first day. We finally parked and now we're moving towards base camp. We gotta figure out the next steps to setting up our launch tower. Section. <laughs> Why is this happening? And then, like, when it reaches Apogee, like, so uh, a bunch of judges came around. Um, they asked us uh, What's in there? pretty comprehensive uh, What's questions you? about um, the yeah. avionics, um, flight Drum stability, you. our engine. Yeah, they um, they asked questions about ops too. You are a master. He is. Pretty he did sick. an amazing job. So this is the launch site where um, hybrid rails are. Self-built hybrids. We are here at rail number four, and we're just getting out and setting up. Hey David. Hey, what's up? How are you feeling? Really hot. Um, it's now 1 p.m. We're making good progress on the tower, but we had to uh, take a break for um, some launches. So we're gonna try to lift the tower. The first time didn't go so well because um, a few of the augers were just in not great positions and the wires weren't the right length. So, um, so we're just going to try it again now. Hopefully it goes off without a hitch. Tower to base, do you have a visual over? We have a visual. We see you at around like 30 to 40 degrees up. Time is about 5.45 a.m. We just got here on the third launch day. So it's like really happening now. You know, this is like make or break time. And there's a magnet on the end of the stick which we use to activate uh, magnetic switches. I'm standing here holding the magnet stick. Three, You're doing a great job. Three, two, one, two, three, four, five, go. This is ignition. That buzzer sound means everything's working a-okay. Some team members are now preparing the nitrous tank. 
it will be placed onto this nitrous inverter so that the cap side faces down. We're loading the rocket onto the launch tower now. The tower has been put up with the rocket on it. Does anyone have a lot? I, I saw small. Oh, there. Broke. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's coming down over there. Come on. That's still pretty slow. That's still pretty slow. Is main good? And we've landed. We we did it. We did Robin, it. You too. it Robin, you too. Come on. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. Damn it. Storm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fine. Oh my god. We actually did it. So. Things you learn going forward. Pool party. Oh my god. We did it. The post launch procedure. Is because we have everything we'll see this case. We get to use this procedure. I observed it. I observed it. It is literally this close to the tower. That's the tower we launched from. And this is where the rocket is. This is the first time that anyone on our, on our team has picked up a safely recovered rocket. Dicker. I don't think I have heard anyone else use the adjective. How many times have you used the word dickered, Adam? You're absolutely right. There you go. I, 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 what did we? What is this stuff? What? What? Wait, you hold We're pretty much just saying our goodbyes before splitting off. Um, Miranda, Elbert, and I will Now I can do what I want. Now you can do whatever you want. I'm going to miss if you got me, though. This is one of the final vlogs, probably, of the trip. Everything's unpacked back in the bay. We're waiting for U of T and Ryerson. And man, it's been a great trip. Yep, just most, gonna, most successful trip. Most successful trip, definitely. Now we're just going to take the truck and trailer back to its parking lot. And we should, we are almost done here.